our top focus on 11 live amid the ongoing politics noise and chaos the matter on whose name this very fight is centered has been conveniently ignored by everyone yes i'm talking about captain mandeep singh this brave soldier was killed in a suicide attack in kupwara in 1999 tonight let's forget the left versus right debate and remember the sacrifice of this hero This is one of the very few memories Gurmeher Kaur has of her father, Captain Mandeep Singh. The brave and selfless soldier who sacrificed his life for our country. Captain Mandeep Singh, a brave army officer whose name is being used by everyone to prove their own nationalism and reject the others. He was martyred in 1999 when a Rashtra Rifles camp came under a terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir. He was commissioned in the 49th Army Air Defence Regiment and was serving with the 4 Rashtra Rifles Battalion where he laid down his life. Six other soldiers also lost their lives trying to defend the camp. He was serving in the counterinsurgency operation Rakshak. Today in Jalandhar, Captain Mandeep Singh's old father is feeling betrayed, seething with anger. बेटा मेरा 6 अगस्त 1999 को 26 दुश्मन मार के शहीद हुआ था और ये देख लो कि अनाम ये क्या दिया this young soldier of the Indian Army did not think twice before laying down his life for our nation. But today, in his name, the entire country has declared war on each other, calling each other names, doling out certificates of patriotism and nationalism, giving rape threats to his daughter. Amid the chaos, why not pause for two minutes and remember Captain Mandeep Singh, the martyr, the hero. Bureau Report, India Today. But while the spotlight is on Delhi University, it's the campuses beyond the national capital that have become hostage to growing intolerance. The Manaras Hindu University is one of the most prestigious in the country. Now, in its 101st year, the university is now facing charges of serious gender discrimination. The girls here cannot talk to male friends can't use Wi-Fi, can't wear short, uh, short skirts and can't even participate in a political debate. We are not saying this. It's the students in BHU. Listen in. And I have four girls who are now brave enough to come out and speak. Your names? Mineshi, Deepshree, Mridula Mangalam, Nivedita Shandilya. And which uh, years are you in? I'm in second year. I'm in third year. Third year. So third year. Third year. And you all have your identity cards, right? So you are all students of BHU. Otherwise, people will say tomorrow that you are not students of BHU. Okay, I'm going to ask you, what is the nature of the discrimination that is going on? Tell me the nature of the discrimination. Problems are very much. When we start the hostel allotment, which is the first process, it is called the mother and the mother. Then the mother says that you can see what rules there are. So you can't participate in the dhanna, you can't come to 8 o'clock and the mother gives us a signature. If my daughter does something like this, then we have rights to our teachers that they can take them from the hostel. No, the dhanna, I have said that you can also participate in the hostel. No, the dhanna, I have said that you can also participate in the political debate. धरना और डिबेट अलग अलग चीजें हैं। सर कोई भी पॉलिटिकल ग्रुप जो कि बीएचयू से बाहर है, कोई भी पॉलिटिकल ग्रुप हम उसमें डिबेट में नहीं पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते और स्पेशली अगर वो संघ के अगेंस्ट होता है तो संघीय विचारधारा अगर आप सो यू कैन नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन लेट से एनी डिबेट ऑन एनी इश्यू व्हिच इज अगेंस्ट द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट यस सर बिल्कुल भी हम लोगों को नहीं अगर हम लोग आरएसएस के खिलाफ लिखते भी हैं या फिर संघीय विचारधारा के तो हम हमारे लिए प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करता ही करता है हमारे टीचर्स हम लोगों को बोलते हैं कि आपकी डिग्निटी आपके हाथ में है सो प्लीज आप एनएसएस और एनसीसी में भी मत जाइए क्योंकि आप लड़कियां हैं आपकी इज्जत खराब हो जाएगी यू आर आल्सो नॉट अलाउड टू कुक नॉन वेजिटेरियन इन योर हॉस्टल्स एम आई राइट यस सर 
and the boys are allowed to do that in their hostels actually uh, it's not about cooking basically it's not provided on the mess menu and uh, in the boys hostel and the girls hostel we pay same price um, same fee means we can have non veg but we have to purchase it from outside you have to purchase it from yeah, outside while not... the boys while the boys can cook it if they want in the hostel yeah they in their mess it's on a regular schedule and it's on a regular uh -huh. schedule it's not on what about wifi is it true that you all are not allowed wifi in your hostels yes sir we are not allowed the wifi in our hostels and at the same time boys boys have the wifi condition you are not allowed aapko ab you aap wifi use nahi kar sakte wifi sir use kar sakte connection provide nahi ki gayi hai yahan administration ke youtube facebook aap kahin nahi ja sakte yani nahi sir wifi connection provide nahi kiya no wifi connection only for the girls only for land connection tak nahi hai sir lagbhag sare boys hostel mein lekin ladkiyon ke hostels mein nahi hai television tak nahi hai अगर रखा हुआ है डब्बा तो वहाँ पे सेटअप बॉक्स वगैरह रखा हुआ है लेकिन हाँ डिश नहीं है और आप नहीं अरे आप क्या करेंगे आप तो सीरियल से देखेंगे व्हाट अबाउट ड्रेस कोड सर अगर हम मेस में शॉर्ट्स में जाते हैं शॉर्ट्स मतलब नॉर्मल भी बर्मुडाज और पैंट तो टीचर्स अगर हमें देखते हैं तो दे हैव राइट कि वो हमें पब्लिकली एम्बेरस करें हम लोग को डांटे और वॉर्न करें हम लोगों को अगर आप अगर आप शॉर्ट्स पहने अपने मेस में वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हॉट पेंट जस्ट शॉर्ट सर नी लेंथ वी कैन नॉट from bhu let's uh, shift focus to jnu where it's a big india today expose our sources linked to the jnu probe have revealed that kanhaiya kumar did not raise any anti india slogans in the campus last year india today gets details of the jnu investigation and sources tell us that anti india slogans were actually raised by some kashmiris whose identity is still not clear it's been a year and there is no charge sheet against the anti india slogan shouters and those kashmiris who according to our sources came from different colleges i now understand that what i am doing aap kaun hote hain humko international bolne wale jab is desh ke kanoon ne humko bail diya hai जब एक साल के बाद भी पुलिस ने चार्ज शीट फाइल नहीं किया है कोई भी एविडेंस हमारे खिलाफ नहीं है सी आई ऑलवेज आई स्पीक अबाउट द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ दिस नेशन एंड विद इन द कंडीशन ऑफ द फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन वी एक्सप्रेस आवर सेल्फ वी डिमांड वॉट इज आवर बेसिक डिमांड्स वी नेवर से वी वॉन्ट आजादी फ्रॉम दिस नेशन एनी बडी इज आस्किंग अबाउट द सेपरेटिस्ट थिंग वी डोंट सपोर्ट वी बिलीव इन द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ दिस कंट्री we believe this is our this is our firm position but i am i am giving you certain different kind of examples hamare mamle mein jahan aapke paas evidence nahi hai ek saal mein charge sheet nahi hua hai aap bar bar ja kar ke mujhe bolne nahi dete hain umar ko nahi bolne dete hain aur kehte hain ki log international hai all right we are getting some breaking news special cell senior officers now tell india today that they are in the process of tying up some loose ends in the jnu sedition case and are in the process of filing the charge sheet and they also say that it will be incorrect to say that there is no evidence against the accused in this case i'm joined by today's deputy editor atir khan for more on this atir can you please explain uh, what the police is trying to say here well what they are trying to say uh, is that they are uh, process of uh, tying up some clues and you know there were some investigations which will need to be carried out to find out whether some other persons were involved in that incident so that process is on and remember this is a very very sensitive and crucial charge sheet and it will be under immense scrutiny of uh, uh, not just uh, students uh, um, uh, the teachers uh, but also uh, of the legal the best of legal brains and of course ultimately the court so the police are spreading very carefully they do not want any uh, anything uh, to, to to be you know any students to be there therefore they 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 are in the process of filing the charge sheet they are saying they have evidence that's what they are claiming but this would uh, certainly not be the just the right time to file the charge sheet uh, with uh, the disturbed campuses both uh, jnu and uh, du uh, and also you know that uh, this is a parliament session uh, in the office so uh, they are in the process of filing it and uh, they say they are going to do it soon all right thank you so much arthur for that update Welcome back you're watching 11 live and it's time for some good news this Tuesday evening. This is a story of a visually impaired person from Odisha who's leading by example. This is the story of Sanyasi Behra. Take a look. Sanyasi Behra's long walk to self-reliance is finally nearing its end. 
visually challenged resident of Bhubaneswar has cracked the Odisha civil services exam. Among the 670 who have qualified, he is ranked 220th and joins six other visually challenged candidates. There is a huge uh, attitudinal as well as legal barrier while the Odisha Public Service Commission rules 1991 has clearly prohibited the uh, participation of persons with disabilities in Odisha Civil Service Examination on account of their disability. For Behra, the fight to earn a government job was a marathon with many hurdles thrown in. Born without a sight, Behra started his fight for a place in government exams in 2006. He filed a PIL in Odisha High Court in 2011. Finally, a Supreme Court order allowing the visually challenged to take part in government exams in 2014 cleared the way for him. Behra says he couldn't have realized his dreams if it wasn't for his wife, two daughters and son. बहुत ही अच्छा फील हो रहा है जब पापा की रिजल्ट आई मैं उनके पास रिजल्ट में दिखी और जब दिखी मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा फील हुआ और मैं बहुत ही खुश हो गई थी उस पर एक्सप्लेन भी नहीं कर पाऊंगी इस खुशी को ओडिशा की रो बहराम ना प्रेज हिज स्टोरी इज एन इंस्पिरेशन फॉर अदर विजुअली चैलेंज्ड टू चेस देयर ड्रीम्स Your report India Today.